Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the data flow diagram for online shopping website. So here we are discussing the level 0 and level 1 DFD. Before discussing the level 0 and level 1 DFDs, we should ensure that what is a data flow diagram. A data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in terms of input and output. The data flow diagram contains some symbols for drawing the data flow diagrams. First of all, there are basically four basic or four fundamental symbols. They are data flow, process, entity and data store symbols. The data flow are pipelines through the packets of information flow. So these data flows are represented in a DFD by using a line with an arrow head. Secondly, a process or a task performed by a system is represented by a process and in a DFD this process is represented by the symbol ellipse. Third one is the entity. Entities are objects of the system. A source or destination data of a system is represented as entity. So these may be beginning or end users itself and these entities are represented by using a rectangle. The fourth one is data store is a place where the data are to be stored. This may be files or databases. These data stores are represented by two parallel lines. So these are the four fundamental symbols used in a data flow diagram. A data flow is represented by an arrowhead. Second is a process which is represented by an ellipse or sometimes it may be represented by a circle itself. Third one is the entity. These entities are represented by a rectangular box as well as finally the data stores are represented by two parallel lines. So in this lecture we are discussing how to draw a data flow diagram for an online shopping website. So these data flow diagrams can be represented or can be leveled into different levels like 0th level, 1st level, 2nd level, 3rd level etc. The 0th level is a minimal representation of that particular system. For example, if we are using an online shopping website, for example, if we are using the website Flipkart, so as we know, we have to log in into a page, we can select some product and we can purchase or order that product. So one of the end user entity is a user or a customer which is at the one side and the second side or the other side is a website or website admin. So we can simply represent this process as a data flow 0th level DFD. So this DFD has two end users or two entities which are website admin and users and there is a process known as online portal or online shopping. So this is the portal or this is the process available here and there are some data flows in which a user request a login to the website and the website responds based upon to the website admin. When a login request is applied by the user, the website admin may check the login credential and the response is given to the user. So in the zeroth level data flow diagram, we can see two entities. The first one is the user entity and second one is the admin or website admin entity. Here the process is the website portals or web website login portals. When it comes to the first level DFD at the admin side, so we can classify these systems into the admin side as well as to the user side. When we are considering the admin or administrative side, we can see or we can categorize or we can draw the first level DFD at the admin side. And here we can see five different processes. Those processes are login, manage the category, manage item, fourth one is manage order and fifth one is manage reports. And here also we can see five different data store spaces or databases which are admin detail database, product category database, item list database, order detail database and finally user report database. First of all, the admin have to log in into that particular portal in order to view all the details. So when the admin login into a system, he has to give the login credential. These credentials are processed in the login operation. 
while considering the login operation the login check data is verified with the corresponding database admin detail if the login credentials are given correctly by the admin then the database will reply to the login process and the login process respond to the website admin secondly the second category or second process is the manage category here in this manage category a website admin can add or edit different categories of products which is available in the website so as we mentioned earlier the website flipkart may have a lot of products and if a new category of product is introduced in the flipkart then the admin can add or edit or remove the category while adding or editing or removing this category the database is changed based upon the process or activity done by the admin so while adding or editing the database or data store space is modified based upon the process the third process is the manage item that which means that the admin can manage the quantity of item as well as the different streams of items available in his website here also we can see add or edit request which updates the database item list the fourth process is the manage order process when a customer orders a product then the admin should verify if the product is available or not if it is available then he has to check the order details and make the shipment processes based upon the delivery principles of that particular website and finally he can manage the report process here in this manage report means he can verify the quantity or a amount of businesses or volume of businesses done in his website by verifying with the database user report so these are the different processes which are concerned in the level 1 dfd of a online shopping portal so my dear students each of these processes can be expanded in the level 2 dfd that is we can see five different processes the first process is login second is the manage category third one is a manage item fourth one is a manage order and fifth one is manage report each of these processes can be expanded in order to maximize or in order to represent all the independent individual processes and data flows available in this system so each of these processes are expanded in the level 2 dfd and we will discuss the level 2 dfd of the online shopping in the upcoming lecture so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is draw the level 0 and level 1 dfd for atm transaction so my dear students as we mentioned earlier in the next lecture we will discuss the level 2 data flow diagram for admin operation of the online shopping website So dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best